Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Actually, welcome. Uh, the big surprise that I have been hinting about in the last couple of videos is finally done, and our surprise is this wonderful new area to shoot in. HOA has very lovingly cleared out half of the garage for me, and we have moved operations into here, which is a much bigger space and significantly warmer. Two thirds of the garage. <laughs> So thank you so much to HOA for all your hard work in clearing out the garage for us and for setting up all of our lights and cameras and creating this wonderful place to shoot for you guys in here. So I'm really, really, really excited about this and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So tonight is the first night we are shooting in here, which I'm super excited. Actually, I am so excited that we're going to do a giveaway. So we're going to paint something tonight and then we're going to give it away and we're going to do a random comment picker on YouTube and I will put that at the end of the next video so you guys can see who actually wins. Um, today was a gorgeous day. We have finally gotten some sun. We had a blue sky and beautiful Simpsons clouds and this gorgeous green. Every place is green because of so much rain. Everything has started growing. So it was just really, really beautiful on this beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. So. That's what I want you guys to do. Like the video, share it if you can, comment on the YouTube channel, please. Bright, sunshiny day, and you will be entered to win the painting that we are going to paint tonight. So let's get started. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in, and I have painted the sides and edges with uh, graphite gray from Goldens. Let's move that out of the way, and I'll show you the colors we're working with. There's a lot of custom stuff tonight, so bear with me. The first one we're using is Golden's Prussian Blue. Gorgeous, one of my favorites. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol tonight and some water as needed to get it to consistency. Not super thick, slight mound and then it sinks into itself beautifully. Okay, so that's our Prussian Blue. We are also using this one, which is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. And to this, I have added a little bit of this uh, folk art treasure gold in rose gold. It's interesting because I really like the color on the bottle, but I've never really liked it when I've used it by itself. But I did think, okay, let me add some to the Nicolazzo gold, and it's given us this beautiful, shimmery, very coppery looking color. So I'm quite excited about this, about using this one. So that's our sort of coppery, our Nicolazzo rose gold, I guess, if you will. <laughs> this one is a really fun color that I really like. This is um, Folk Arts Color Shift in Dragon Flash. Should we get the bottle for them, HOA? Mm -hmm. It's such a pretty color, too. Like a light greenish gold shift. Very, very cool stuff. Okay. And then we have here, this one is Decoard Americana Decor Metallics in Pearl. Lovely shimmer on that. I don't know if you can see it. And then we have another kind of custom color. This one is um, Deco Arts Champagne. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Champagne. And to this, I have added a little bit of the 24 karat gold. So, pretty. I'd say it's about 50 50 champagne and 24 karat. And then I have here a tub of drips that we are going to use as our base coat slash flow extender. This is thinner than the rest of my paints. If you see, it's not even leaving any kind of mound. It's just sinking right into itself. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a straight pour from up high, an homage to my roots. Um, Gina DeLuca used to do straight pours. She still does straight pours a lot, and that was what I first fell in love with her for. So it kind of feels fitting to christen our new space with a straight pour from up high, like I used to do, and we're gonna use a layered cup. So, well, let's get started. I'm gonna put a little bit of the pearl in the bottom of our cup first, and then some of the 24 karat gold champagne. And I think we're gonna do it as kind of a dirty cup, or maybe a mildly dirty cup, like I used to do. I'm gonna move this over for just a second so I don't spill it. Okay, and we're gonna come in with some of that beautiful dragon flash. And I'm gonna layer that side, that color. And then I'm gonna put some pressure on top of that. And then I'm gonna 
put another layer of the gold. And we're gonna come in with that beautiful nickel azo rose gold. And then make it some more pearl. Some more dragon flash. Some more Prussian blue. And what I'm doing intentionally is using the gold, actually I'm going to put some pearl on there too, to separate that coppery color from the greens and the blues because I don't want them touching each other. I'm going to put a little bit more gold on top of that. Okay, so now we have a nice full cup, just like I like. Sorry, I had to take off my sweater. It's getting a little too warm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a puddle of my gold color right in the center and then I'm going to pour some of our base coat color on top to cover that and then we're going to pour into that okay let's torch that real quick because there's a lot of air bubbles It's like old school, like back when we were outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Are you excited, H.Y.? Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last, but I am. <laughs> we're gonna do a straight pour from up high. Here we go. twist and create some interest and some patterns and as we get closer to the bottom we're going to move down closer to the canvas part that I always get weird about. I don't like that. But I'm going to leave it for the moment. <laughs> There's a lot of air bubbles in there. I'm just going to give them a second to come to the surface and then we're going to use the torch and we're going to pop them. And this is one of the most important things that I've learned from my friend Gina, is you have to give your cells a minute to come to the surface and percolate and develop. If you start tilting right away, you're gonna lose a lot of that beautiful cell structure. this over just a little bit. Now we're going to put the rest of our flow extender around. And so what we've done by having that flow extender to pour into is I'm probably not going to lose the colors that are around the edges of my pour. And it's entirely possible that we get some gold cells popping up through there because remember we poured some gold in the center 
before we put the base coat color down. Okay, okay. So this is looking really pretty out here. I like all of the different bands of color that we can see. There's the beautiful quinacridone nickel azo rose gold with the Prussian blue. We've got a little bit of the light blue happening from the pearl and that dragon flash. I do see the dragon flash by itself. And then there's a little bit of blending kind of towards the center where the gold mixed with the Nicolazzo rose gold. So, but this is pretty. I'm liking what's happening so far. We're going to tilt this out now. Let's just see where the weight of the paint is and where it's moving. And I could tell that my base coat was a lot thinner than the other paint because you see how the edges are moving faster but that's okay. We're gonna kind of take that off that edge down there at the bottom and come back. And we're gonna bring this down this way. Take this back to the middle a little bit and come down. Now I'm just playing with composition. And I do want to take some off of that corner down there. Now that we've gotten most of that base coat off, now we have the actual colors of the pore that are moving much slower and easier. I like a lot of what's happening. I love that corner closest to UHOA with all those little cells popping up through there. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. I don't know if I like the very center right in here. I mean, part of me does, but part of me doesn't. Same. Part of me does and part of me doesn't. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do actually is we're going to take some more of this part off and open it up and see what happens to that center. Because I really like what's happening up here. All of this is very cool. This part, meh, this part, meh. So, let's see. Let's take some of this. Let's walk it down. Hello, R2. Hmm. I think we're going to go off this edge now a little bit. What's happening around the edges a lot better now. What do you think, HOA? Yep. Same thing. There. Everything else looks pretty smooth. Okay, let's give this another. would be the bottom and this would be the top. 
And I like this, it kind of reminds me of that bright sunshiny day that we had with this beautiful blue, blue sky and this gorgeous sunlight coming through. It was just such a pretty, pretty day with like these perfect clouds, it was awesome. Um, this is cool. I love what's happening all along here with these little cells. And I think these cells are gonna keep developing. Like in here, they've gotten bigger and poofier. In here, there's some really cool effects. I love this swoosh and these swoops, kind of geode-like. So this is neat. I like it. I like that that center part is no longer in the middle. It's kind of off-center. Kind of almost gives it a flowery feel. But this is looking pretty cool, and I really like the center where it's that pearl color mixed with that champagne 24 karat gold is giving it a very warm ivory feeling. Not too much of the blended stuff, so... I think this is going to dry beautifully. Um, it's not going to be dry in time to show you guys on Wednesday, <laughs> but I will show you in the next video and um, we will also pick our winner. So please be sure to like this video, comment on this video, bright sunshiny day, share the video if you can, and uh, we will see you guys real soon. We'll see you for the next video and we'll pick the winner and announce it then. So thanks for being here with us today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, please do check out our premiere train on Wednesday. So this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. We'll see you real soon.